is we're shifting things to podcast. Oh shit! Radio's dead, bro. Radio is dead. Radio's, yeah. dead. Radio's been dead in all I, its I, forms, though. I, you I, know I, what I mean? In all its forms, like we tried to see if we could see if the streaming radio was Works working. Out. It's just hard because yeah. you're, you're making people. Well, you're competing against like, playlists now. So. Yo, yo, yo! You're not gonna win. <laughs> yes, okay. gone. Go on. Boom. Boom. A song leads. Just like that. that. Just like that. Ooh. Just lead. like that. Hey, DJ, play that back. It's a great song. You just leave bodies all that's along a, the road. That's a great video. They got Khan right. on Ludacris's neck. <laughs> all right. Okay. 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 Have you okay. seen that? Okay. Okay. Don't flush the toilet. You are now tuned in to the Crappy Awesome Podcast. Welcome to another head-scratching episode of the Crappy Awesome Podcast. We are your host, the Diego Brown Project. I am Mr. Arash, even though nobody calls me Mr. And with me is Kiel C. Ray, even though we'll just call him Chris. Hey, yo. We are, of course, brought to you by Platform Collection. Make sure you visit platformcollection.com for all of your independent hip-hop needs. There's tons of videos and music and podcasts and links to shit that will keep you fucking busy forever. Uh, while you're there, check out our sibling podcasts. There is Life on the Road with 60 East. You can't do sound effects. Uh, I didn't have the. Sorry, I was trying to double point. task. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, sir. Really though. With really cookbook. No. With cookbook. With cookie. Yo, that episode uh, we did with um with them was like I've had a lot of responses to that. The one with cookbook. Uh huh. Which one? Um, we sat down with uh, cookbook uh, and um. Oh, Flynn Adam. Yeah, Flynn. Oh, um, dude, and then um, and a whole bunch of like Christian musicians and stuff have been liking my Instagram selfie. Hey, nice, <laughs> nice. Mm, I don't know, maybe not nice. I don't know. I don't know where you go with that. I'll take the likes. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of Christian like husband wife singer songwriter teams. Yeah, that's weird, right? I've discovered that. Uh, good for them. We'll talk about that. They make sweet love after they make sweet sweet music to the <laughs> world. Sounds like swingers. Oh, hey, after they make sweet love to Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Noah James and Lisa J host Orchestrated. That, that's your sound. Ooh. That's, you know, you gotta really work on that. that is, what is that supposed to be? It's the sound of a whale. That does not sound like yeah, an orca? I, yeah, I don't know. A whale sound. I think, okay, well, oh. how does a dolphin sound? Uh, <laughs> All right, now bigger. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that. <laughs> it's not like Fat Albert. All right. All right. Uh, Keep working on it. <laughs> Is Proof for Life Radio still on hiatus? Yes. Okay. But it'll be back. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. Ooh. With a new host. Ooh. A female host. Ooh. Ooh. I bet I know who it is. I bet you don't. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. It's true. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Status Escalate. <laughs> Status Escalate and Bars Weekly, both hosted by Kali. Kali. Okay, I was yeah. waiting for you to chime in and say one of those things that changed too. He's the one who just texted me, by the way, that's yeah. got me looking for different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. What a dick, right? God right before dick. I started. That's classic Kali Kali. maneuver. Yeah. Um, what is that? Is that the is that the vape pen? Oh, that was a weird smell. Um, <laughs> what do I do with this thing? Just suck on it. Hey, man. <laughs> oh. Bro, run. Come on, I mean, come dude. on. Come on, don't ask that. <laughs> that's a meme all day. Oh, We're going to have to cut that out. Good Lord. Uh, <laughs> the Ghetto Blaster podcast hosted by Ricochet. Uh, and pretty fresh, hosted by Mods One, and of course uh, the infamous, the original Two Mex Hologram Podcast. Yes, back. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Platform Collection. That is one word, all spelled out. And on Twitter at Platform Collect with no shun. Uh, ooh, Burner Podcast, by the way, hosted yeah. by yours truly. Yes. There's some um, 2018 is gonna be a big year. Nice. A lot of big things happening. Yes. I just interviewed. I just interviewed a uh, Puff little, Daddy. Little, yes, Little Pump. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> Little Zanny. Puff Daddy. Little, are you just gonna lift? You're gonna Little Zane. Damn, did lot. you go back to Little Zane? I said Little Zanny. Mm. Little Zanny. So you guys don't even know who that is. I know. I interviewed uh, Lorenzo, the host of Psychedelic Salon podcast. Oh wow! That dude's been around since the beginning of podcasts. <laughs> well, yeah, he's yeah. like one of the godfathers before of he podcasting. knew it was a podcast. Yeah, abs- not, not just him. Before podcasts like even existed, he was doing those recordings. He was there when you when a podcast was only for Apple. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It was originally yeah. made for Damn, that's like a, a measurement of time. Yeah. yeah, Lorenzo, host of Psychedelic Salon. Shout Everybody out. I know, the first time they did acid, they looked for a podcast. That's where they ended up. Shout, Shout out to Lorenzo. Me. Yeah, so anyway, all right. Uh, tell them about Stitcher, iTunes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if you're listening to this on Stitcher, iTunes, TuneIn Radio, or Spreaker, Spreaker, you can go over to platformcollection.com and hear every episode all the way back to episode zero. Zero. Um, it's been a long year. Yeah. But a good year. Yeah. It's been a really good year. Um, and just in case, I don't, when is this coming out? Let's see. Next week is, uh, New Year's. Next week is New Year's. Next week is New Year's already? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is, we're in 2018. Hey. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Wait, is KP, the KP country isn't could burning be down? the first show of 2018. What? Whoa. God damn it. I feel great about wow, that. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll still be hungover as fuck when this episode comes out. Yeah. That's fucking great. Last night was awesome. Oh my no, God. No, wait. No, it wasn't. Is New Year's on a Wednesday? No. It's going to be, no, it's on a Sunday. Oh, okay. Sunday night. Sunday night was awesome. Monday oh hangover. We're manifesting right now, guys. Yeah, fuck yeah. It Pro was awesome. Astral projecting. Everybody Speaking kiss somebody at midnight, mm. right? Mm. Are we talking, are we, are we, I mean, are we going to be talking about rapping stuff or are we talking about aliens? We're talking about a bunch of shit. I'm down with all of that. we have like how much time? Let's go. Let's <laughs> jump into this. You're right. Aliens are rapping. Kid Presentable is here. Ladies. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ooh. One time for my folks making ends meet, two times for the ones that pretend. The third shot is reserved for the girl trying to fuck up my world with a kiss at the end. Uh, one time for my folks making ends meet, two times for the ones that pretend. The third shot is reserved for the girl trying to fuck up my world with a kiss at the end. Uh, and I don't know how long I've been here, but I'm feeling lit. She looking at me like I smoked up her last cigarette. Her last cigarette, she's saying that it's last call, but someone should really tell her that I don't even dance, y'all. Uh. And it's nice like this, I'll make you people remember my name. Hold the mic and rip, I'm just out here reinventing my lane. That's the formula, get high and never look down. I would rather be lost in the crowd than to drown in. Another double shot of crown and coat. Trying to make my way through this blunt smoke. And in a painful way, I got a lot to say since the fateful day that we last spoke. Broken and hoping to get home. Message on red on the dead phone. Why don't you answer? This ain't the answer. I swear my heart's on the stone. What? She was a dancer. I'm just a cancer. I swear to leave her alone. Okay. It gets harder to think. The longer I sit here, the more that I drink. What? What? It gets harder and harder to say no and push to the limits to drink. And I know I was raised to be better than this. And it's painful to just reminisce, but her name's been engraved in my brain since the night I went weak and just fell for the kiss. No, no, no. Don't lie to me. I know that this isn't true. What? 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 Dichotomy. Salvation after this brew. And I guess I can run but there's nowhere to hide cause I'm trapped in amazement I'll starve here and die she'll tell you she's fucked up that she needs a ride but don't fall for nothing it's all a big lie 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 she's saying that it's all a big lie someone should really tell her that I don't even dance y'all I don't dance, but I'll take that drink. Don't give a fuck what your girlfriend think. You and me and everything it could be. We could be the reason that the other people think. Love exists, lust exists. Walk up to me, baby, let's run the risk. Make it look easy, wanna copy this. You embody it, it's so obvious. Got my heel dug in, so you better be on your toes. And with a night like this, and nobody knowing where we're gonna go. It could be anything, it could go anywhere. With you, I say any place is my home. We could be anyone, we could be anything. Only thing I recognize is the road, and it's a long, long way that I've been on my own but I'm on my way and I'll be there soon better get up out of my way unless you're ready to soak in the view cause life won't wait we know that it's fact and we know that it's truth so what you waiting for let's get up out of here right now get up off the floor kind of feeling like I need to lie down maybe we both catch something maybe a flight out of here or maybe we both end with nothing but the memories haunting the years and I don't know how long I've been here, but I'm feeling lit. She looking at me like I smoked up her last cigarette. Her last cigarette, she's saying that it's last call, but someone should really tell her that I don't even dance, y'all.
Uh, for complete transparency, he's down. We're in San Diego. We're at Burner Studios. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like um, Burner Podcast Studios. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasant fucking place, Thank you man. for letting us uh, use the studio, yeah, You're welcome. You guys want some whippets? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Arash. Thank you, <laughs> we sir. We talked about this. <laughs> You're in Burner Podcast. Right. No hard drugs during the fucking... Well, I know you oh, don't count that. Are, yeah, whippets, yeah. I got gotcha. Oh, man. It's All right. Um, but KP's here tonight to perform yes. at Hip Hop Wednesdays. Shout out to Kali. Yeah, shout Hello out to Kali. Crew. DJ Eyeball, right? DJ Eyeball, Carlo. Ooh, yeah. Um, yo, Carlo so, too. Yo, it, you're here with the whole crew, right? Like, I'm here with uh, everybody. Beza Tree, Exer, fucking The Locust, Hide and Seek Zoo, fucking Gadzooks is here just making an appearance with his bald ass. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Making yeah. it work, you know? We, we out here trying to... Trying to, we were talking earlier about how no one out here in San Diego, so we're trying to make it yeah. pop, man. You know, yeah, that was the thing I was going to tell you guys. And by the way, the room. Beza Tree's here in the room. Beza so Tree. If you hear us talking to a, a silent person, <laughs> to an incorporal, what is it, decorporal, uncorp, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's okay. He's here. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't steer us off course. You know what will happen. All right. Okay. All right. Um, Aliens. But uh, <laughs> oh, one of the things about artists coming to San Diego is um, this is what I think actually needs to happen in, in all honesty is I think if you're going to come to San Diego, you need to work the scene for a minute. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You know what I mean? Like just come down, do shows, absolutely. do things like, you know what I mean? Like a lot, regardless of the audience, because you guys know how that shit works. Yeah. Flyers are everything in the social media world. Everything. Absolutely. So um, just – you guys marinating yourselves down here a little bit I think would be good for everybody it's all about putting roots down you know what I'm saying you have to connect with people you have to fucking kind of like you know, make your presence known, but don't be an asshole about it. You know, yeah. you come, you come, you're you're a guest in someone's city. What what, what are you thinking? Because um, I know you're you're working on music. Yes. Fucking finally. Always. Um, well, not always, but, but yes. it seems like you're getting closer to like wanting to put something out. Yeah, uh, I've me and this fool were talking on the way you've down been putting here, singles out. Yeah, but like I think it's important to like you can't just drop an album. You know what I mean? Yeah. It has to be plotted. It has, and I'm one of these people who. Dude, I'll go over a song, you know, a hundred times sometimes, yes. you know, and just kind of see what, what works and what doesn't. And it's about putting out a good quality of work, whether that means fucking, uh, you know, six songs, seven songs, ten songs, an, a year to do that. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. And I think people, one thing that people are afraid to do now is to fail and to drop a solid project that might not, you know what I mean? That might yeah. be different or that might seem cohesive instead of just singles after singles and music mm-hmm. videos and music videos and shit. So I'm, I've am i been plotting and scheming and doing shit, you know what I mean? Like just trying out new sounds. So are you like, it, it seems like you, you get like more active too when you start getting closer to putting out whatever it yes, is that you're working absolutely, on. I noticed absolutely. like you'll start doing more shows. You'll absolutely. Start doing things. So, and that's a big thing too. I mean, you can't put out music without being and doing shows and yeah, meeting yeah, people yeah. so you know what's the point of you know putting out a for thousand? you is it like working like working the set out working music out like because we know like comedians do that a lot right mm-hmm. like they'll go before they do like their one hour special Absolutely. for a year they'll just work shit out on stage that's funny because i was just listening to like i think it was neil brennan or fucking on uh, was it on uh, rogan or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was talking about how he's like they're doing stand-up and how rogan does it he, he you know he'll do you know, uh, for like you were saying, a year he'd go into like the ice house or whatever the fuck and just work yeah. his way up and see what actually works and what's cohesive. And right, that's exactly right. right, dude. Like, that's how you got to do it. It's the same thing with like a producer DJ, right? Like, you want to play that track in the big room, see how the crowd responds Absolutely. to it. Yeah. yeah. Like, this bass line doesn't sound as good when you bring it into a room this size, so they'll go back and fuck with it some more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, the scene's in kind of a weird place right now for me. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like, it, it seems not a little stagnant because there's a lot of dope shit. Like, Exer just dropped a dope project. Yes. Wino just dropped a dope project. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone's doing dope shit, but it's like, I, I, you know, we have to, we keep pushing each other. It's like, so what's next? You know what I mean? We got to do what's next. What's well, let me, next? Let me ask you this though, because um, what you were asking about, uh, Chris, like, there are definitely like the artists who are just basically like performing all year round, and like you don't see like an increase or a decrease in the right. number of shows that they're doing. Right. And then all of a sudden, an album comes out. Right. But what you're suggesting is that KP kind of like the the amount of shows he's doing increases. Yeah, and it brings yeah. like awareness. At least to the, I the feel like it seems like I just start seeing more of you. Absolutely, like on social Absol- media. That's absolutely you know what I mean? correct. Yeah. And I mean, like, I don't know if it's disingenuous, you know what I mean? But like, I feel like it's it's it 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 allows me to kind of build some steam behind the yeah. fucking project or whatever the fuck I'm doing first. Well, here, you do sprints. Here, here, yes. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I think like it's um, great analogy. It's sprints. definitely not not disingenuous because I think that's closer to how humans are. Right. right. Like we don't always feel 
happy or right, right, right. Do I want to be involved. But in it shit? seems like like one of the things that I've been like trying to wrap my head around, right? Like is forcing myself to do some because I mean, right now it does seem like there is a um there's a definable path to certain stages of your career right Absolutely, now if yeah. you can master them. You know what I mean? If you can master social media, music, emotional, like you know, like it's emotional, it grabs people. If you can master these things and combine them, you can win. Absolutely. And and it's being proven every day. Right. Um, but the amount of work that that takes, I'm not sure that people truly understand like what that is. Because even I, I have friends who are like, man, I work hard. And I'm like, it's still not, that's not enough. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And it's like... It literally is just – most of it's like, okay, for instance, right? Uh, you want to – like we, you can argue, hey, I can just work one social media platform and that's where I'm going to kill it and whatever. But the numbers say it's not. Yeah, that doesn't work. And you, I mean, and you're, you're going to have to have some presence yeah, absolutely. consistently on, on the other platforms if you want to win at the highest levels. But that's the thing. At the end of the day, it ha- you have to kind of define what that is for you. Right. And I, I, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, like, what is that for you? Like, what do you envision, like, when you get to say, man, I'm good? When I started rapping and, like, writing, like, I envisioned myself with, like, that fat chain. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, you know, the fucking foreign car, you know, pulling up and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's always kind of like, I mean, it, it's a little weird to say it out loud, you know what yeah. I mean? Because I think it all the time. It's like, man, that's so cool. Like, I'll drive in like the like the pa- in Pasadena, San yeah. Marino area or some shit, and I'm like, dude, that's a fat pad. I bet if I could, you know, pop off and make it work, yeah. this is what we can have. You know yeah. what I mean? Now, to me, it's like, like I said, I it's not as much that I don't care about that. Because don't get me wrong, dude. Like, if I can fucking perform and I'm good for the rest of my yeah. life, are you kidding me? That's fucking amazing. That's yeah. everyone's dream. But I think it's just enough to you want to do you want to be able my goal is to be able to just connect to people and for people to enjoy the fucking music that i make yeah. the art that i make the fucking but you know i mean obviously you want to you want to you want to make a career out of this you want you know i want people to buy my merch i want people to listen to my music do you want to not do anything but absolutely make music? yeah that's it so do and you, it doesn't have to be rap yeah you know? yeah yeah for sure um so but do you and, and that's what i'm saying like i think at least I'm finding this for myself, for sure. Like, mm-hmm. I have to keep checking myself and going, like, how much are you doing? Right. You know what I mean? Because then I'll look at, like, people that I see succeeding. And no, I'm not I'm not going at close. that bar yet. Succeeding. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay. let's even going back to, to SP, who we're talking about, self provoke Yeah, 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 okay? self provoke I just saw him, what, like, less than a month ago what, in, like, Canada? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And now he's in the studio. I just saw him with, with some, I think it was a King Lil' G or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I work hard. Like, I work a lot, you know what yeah. I mean? But I do not work as hard as this dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. this dude is always making music. Right. It's constant. Or he's always feeding his brand. Yeah, exactly. And right. that's And I, that's, I think that's the difference. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's it's There's busy work, and then there's feeding that yourself, that brand. Yeah. And that's, that's I think, the balance that people don't understand yeah and you look at that and it's just like that's work you know what i mean like that's a lot of work it takes a lot of time you you have to plan this out that's literally work and that's what i'd love you know that's a, that's a that's a great example to follow you know, I, I wonder though like because a lot of times the conversation about work is had and mm-hmm. to some of us uh when we call it work it, right it feels like you know it's like it's like this negative connotation mm-hmm. right um, and then, so you see, this is like what I feel like I see a lot of people that really enjoy a lot of the parts of the hustle. Like they're really digging a lot of it, but yes. then they're still presenting it as almost like a martyr mentality of right. like, look how hard I work. Right. Where I'm like, no, like, I mean, if you're into it, you're into it. Dope. Right. Like, and, I, and I don't know, I would think like the best way to approach it is to find whatever you're into and mm-hmm. like triple down on that. I mean, I love writing music. Mm. Like I love sitting there and trying to outdo myself. You know what I mean? As I write, or I'll listen to you know Chris. I'm like, man, that shit is dope. I think I can do. I can do that. That's yeah. just so dope. I can do better. I think yeah. that that competition pushes me, mm. and that's what cool. I love. I love that competition. I love being surrounded by dudes who I know. You know what I mean? Are putting out quality pro- product, but I, I love the art about it. You know what I mean? Like everything that I write is 100 percent genuine. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Everything that I write is. If you listen to the music, you understand 
part of me. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a yeah, lot of it. Sub- I-, I call your music severely personal. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> because there, there is, there is just this thing about it that's like, um, um, you can tell there's pain, right, right, right. But I know you, right, and at least outwardly. You, you maintain a level of, um, I don't know, how would you say it? Like keep it together. I can keep it together yes. pretty well. Oh, yeah. Right. Like you can be an adult. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Which uh, is, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, like, absolutely. There's certain, you know, I've met rappers who just can't. Dude, you know, like, I mean, it's so easy to fall into that. Like, you know, that yeah. trap of like, man, because. I'm supposed to be like the crazy exactly. rapper. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's so, it's a trope, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so easy to fall into that and be like, yo, man, I love to get fucked up. And we're just talking about that too. I love to get fucked up. Yeah. And then you lose sight of what's like the important part of it. Not the image. It's the, the music and the, yeah. the actual the stuff craft. they put into it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what it's, and like, that's another thing like, un- that's lacking, I feel recently. That well, crafting, sure. the crafting sure. of an album, you yeah. know what I mean? Like that's, that's so amazing. I, like, I kind I of feel that. though like that, um. I think that that speaks to a larger thing that's just happening in society of, you know, speed. That 15 second, like, yeah, memory it's just, and shit. It's just spe- it, and then it shows no plans on slowing down. So, like, when I talk to people business wise, right? Because this year, like, like me and Eddie did a lot of consulting for people. Mm-hmm. And business wise, like, one of the things that, I try to pay attention to the most is is what the market is saying, right? Like right. it's the basic, it's the basic thing, right? But it's very it, a lot of the times it gets ignored, especially when you're all in artistically. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's tough because uh, I know how that is. I've been like, "Fuck you guys! I don't care if you don't like the song." Absolutely, <laughs> I like the song. Right? Fuck you guys! Like, but as I start to look at it as a career. That's a dumb gamble. It, it really is. That's just a dumb well, I think thing it, to do if you want. And again, this is it, you have to define your end. Game, yeah, exactly. Right? What your success for is. me. So just to clarify, my end game is to live off of this one hundred percent and not struggle at all. Absolutely. Like when but, I'm but there, you still, you still have to find that middle ground between like that is your end game, professionalism. Mm-hmm. However, yeah. you also want to be sincere as an artist, right? Absolutely. Yes. Because I'm willing to bet everybody in this room could sell the fuck out like a motherfucker and just like do exactly what sells and nothing more and nothing less. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. But you still have to find like whatever, whatever. No, that is, it's is the, the most balance. sincere path. Yeah. Look, so, like the thing you've always been yeah. into, for example, is that what I was getting at earlier is like the you're you're into the how do you make the connections between like the social media connection connected to the photography, connected right. to the video, yeah. connected to the podcast. Yeah. Like, that's fun for you. Mm-hmm. And then, like, we've totally had many artists on the show who are fucking miserable doing that. Thing. <laughs> Absolutely. They haven't yeah. found a way to yeah. make it fun for themselves. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And, it, it, dude, it's, it's a grind. That social media game is a, it, yeah, it's a fucking grind. But here's man. the thing that I think that we're failing to say is that if that you somehow still – and this is the thing. Like, I'm, I try to just bring it back to logic. That you think you might be able to still succeed not doing those things in this a- in this atmosphere. Right, right. You're fucking crazy if yeah, you think that's absolutely, true. absolutely. It's it's been proven many times. There's tons of fucking data on this. You're not going to win at a le- look, dude. Tumex has more followers than all of us, right? Right. Tumex struggles. Yeah. He's very open about it, and it's real. Yeah. He's trying to make rent. He has way more fall. He's killing all of us. As far as followers are concerned. Absolutely. Yes. F- killing it. And that's where he's at, right? And he's ba- and he's he's just putting out the fucking content, whatever. He- because this is what I'm saying. Like, I think we have to redefine what the work is. Right. If you see, if you're an artist, I'm just imploring you. Do you. Yep. But I'm imploring you to push yourself and to see the mediums as you would see a fucking piece of paper, you'd see a wall, you'd see a fucking turntable, you see a mic. Yeah. That's all it is. So either you're one thing and you're putting ev- all your shit on that one thing. And even then people are doing that, right? Right. Like we right, know right. people who are killing that, but they're killing it social media. They're not not killing it. Right, right. Nobody is not not killing it at that level 
and has everything covered. Absolutely. If you want to have a job and do your craft, then what does that take? Probably not that much. Right. You could do what Tumex does and you'll be good. Yeah, absolutely. But but you it's it's it is ludicrous to think that you can do that level and then fly around the world all day nah. and get paid and nah. have parties and you're fucking nuts. Nah, exactly. And you're lying to yourself. And then then the other thing too is that we need to change like like the whole flying around the world, having yeah. parties, like you know what I mean? Like that's dope and shit. But if if you want that, yeah, I'm exactly. saying do you. Right, right. That's at the end of the hey, day, I'm shit, saying do you. I would be a fucking hell, if I can fly around the world and do parties and shit, that would be amazing. I, I think though, what 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 you have to define for yourself is what is enough for you. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Because that's all we're talking about. Right. That is all we're talking about. But I'm saying if you're like where I'm want to go, yeah, you have to do all that shit. Absolutely. You have to do all that shit. There is no one at that level that is not doing all that shit, sincere or insincere. You have to disconnect yourself from the music sometimes and look at it from a completely different aspect. Like you have to look at it from right. the fans' point of view. You have if to you want to eat off perspective. of it. Yeah. But I mean, at this point, if there's someone who we come into contact with who doesn't want to eat out of it, then you're, you're, right, you're right, in the, right. you are absolutely in the wrong business. Right, 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 right. Oh, I, I believe that too, though. Feel me? I believe that too. I I also believe the freedom of people to <laughs> visit trees like me. Yeah. Like, like I believe the freedom of, of people to be able to like exp- like you have to. I'll I will die for people to be able to express themselves. Absolutely. Whatever that is. But if this is if if it's if we're we're just not doing the same thing, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like yeah, if yeah, if, yeah. if that's what you're doing, we're not doing the same thing. Yeah, and we're not it's, same leagues. We're not in the same conversation. Right, right, absolutely. And I think especially in hip hop, that's what causes a lot of the conflict because yeah. I think they think they're talking about the same thing and right. they're not. Absolutely, and and I mean hip hop is such a it's not it's such a ego driven thing. Sure, sure, you know sure. And yeah, that's music in general. But I mean, like I, I forgot what we were talking, and it was like, yo. I'm I'm in the room sometimes and I'm thinking, man, I can rap better than this person. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, person, yeah. I can write. You know this I this is this is where you guys are dealing with this challenge because mm-hmm. it's like I as a photographer, it's like me getting hired on the same team as the dude that's just like taking some random photos with their iPhone. Right. Like it's pretty dope. But it's not what I'm doing. But it's not what I'm doing. I'm paying my rent with this shit. Absolutely. And I'm working like there's a career path here and there's a dude who's like pretty dope with his phone. And (laughs) it's like it's like if they booked photography shows and I was in that same show. Yeah. And it's and I you You feel like it clutters the room. It does clutter the room. Right, right, right. Like just it's like it's cool, like what you're doing is dope. But like we don't here's the thing though, I don't have to deal with that as a photographer. What you do as a rapper. I you know (laughs) it's it's crazy though, and it's not to sound like a fucking asshole or to sound boisterous, you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? But that I mean It's okay, you started way earlier. I know, right? <laughs> but if you like, if if you go into like trying to be a rapper and you're trying to like do shows and stuff, and you're not thinking that way, you're gonna get eaten up alive, dude. I, dude, alive, but alive. Two years of platform collection. You, you know how many artists are on platform collection that only made it on one time? We've Dope. only been around two years. Yeah, I'm saying the the. I'm just saying in the last two years. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> right. There's right, a right, right. shitload of right, them. There's right. a shitload of them that where I was like, dude, this dude is dope. He's going to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Gone. Yeah. Dude, dude. If anything, Gone. I, I would even say like more of what I've observed uh-huh. and experienced and read about is that if it comes way more naturally to you, yeah. you're immediately killing it. You, it, you might a lot of times you don't have that same work ethic because you kind of just it's always just kind of like been handed yeah. to you ah yeah. Uh, yeah 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 you that's know? I've had that experience before yeah I think we've personally experienced that with artists absolutely for sure absolutely. But, and it's like it, that's and that's such a terrible look <laughs> you know what I mean mm-hmm. like yo I'm too good for uh, like I'm so good that people are handing me this and I just don't want it anymore like you know what I mean yeah well you don't you don't realize how special it is because it's come yeah. so easy absolutely, you. You can't, absolutely. It's, it's hard to place value on things that are free right? that's absolutely true you know what Fuck I mean yeah so, absolutely yeah I mean. I don't know. I think it's like I said, I think again, I, I implore people if, if your challenge is like, here's my Instagram, right? And I need to do a story. If that's your challenge, cause it makes you feel weird, right? Like, right. You're like uh, what, what I have to say doesn't matter. Or my life isn't that whatever it is, or this is too cocky or this is dumb or this is what young people do. All those things. I just, again, I just implore you to look at it more, as how can I paint a picture right now? Right. And it doesn't have to follow anything that anybody else is doing. Yeah, absolutely. It could literally just be my own thing. But there is no no, uh, replacing consistency. 
Right, right, right. There Absolutely. just isn't. That's the you number know? one most important thing. Mm-hmm. That is so, the number one most important thing. Like whatever you do, because here's the thing: like you'll have, a, you'll talk to a lot of different people in this, uh, in all the different media, right? Who give you different perspectives on it. You look at mm-hmm. a Seth Godin, for example, marketing mm-hmm. guru. Yeah, genius, yeah, yeah. He only has his blog. Doesn't even have a Twitter. Yeah, right, right. right. He pushes the idea of just like quadrupling down on the thing that you're like that you like and you enjoy yeah. doing and doing that forever. But again, yeah. consistency. Then you got a Gary Vaynerchuk who's like, you got to be on everything. If you're not on all of them, then you're fucked. You're right. fucked. Yeah. Over. Right. And both of them are, I mean, arguably, Seth Gooden's a bigger deal. <laughs> nah, right. No, no, no. Seth yeah, comes yeah, up. Yeah. But I'd say this, though. Consistency is the number one most important thing. If, yeah. you're, if you can only bring your energy to do Instagram and not, uh, you know, Snapchat Kill it at anything, Instagram oh, all day. Kill it at Instagram. Right, right, right. Absolutely. You got to focus, though. You got to keep doing it. Here's the thing, though. Like, it, it, and I'm just trying to, um, because I, I want to figure out what our answer to this is. Right. But the problem with that, though, right, is that talent trumps, right? So Gary Vaynerchuk, Seth Godin. Seth Godin is just more talented. Mm. He can write books. Right. That is not like the uh, a small thing. Yeah. He's, he says uh, it's such that, a huge thing right. that he's a he great would, author, right? right? He's a gr- great author. So he would argue though that he became a great author as a result. Sure, he of would. Doing the Ten thousand sure hours. Sure, he would. Yeah, you know what yeah I mean? sure, like, he would. Ten thousand hours. But I mean, Jordan, same thing. He put in a lot of practice, mm-hmm. but at a certain point, you're not Jordan. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you'll ever do. You'll never be Jordan. Yeah. Ever, 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 ever. There's a lot of other plays in the NBA I could be. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I don't think you could be any of them. Mark is what I'm saying, right? Like Mark nobody Madsen. in this room, <laughs> if you start tomorrow, will be an NBA player. I'm you. sorry. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. You have to have a, You have to go with something that is God-given talent. Well, I'm just saying that at a certain point, tr- a talent in that situation, all we're really talking about is talent. Mm. So if you're in the belief of Godin, then what you're seeing yourself as as is like a Godin, right? And you better be right. And and if and if the market that you are tripling down on isn't answering already, you're not right. So I, that's the thing with Gary Vaynerchuk, for example. I yeah. would argue that his talent is the fact that. He, it's as if he's on a lot of cocaine all the time. <laughs> it's a lot of Adderall, that's a, probably. That, that, no, it's, he's, that's his natural disposition. He's okay. just he's a, he's a hyper energetic. Probably he, he might have hypomania. Right. <laughs> like he's got that kind of energy. So for yeah. him, it comes more naturally to do that so, kind of work. So just to kind of tie it back up to the music thing, for you, you was talking consistency. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Are you one of these people who advocates, yo, we're dropping singles every fucking, like, monthly, whatever? I mean, I, I mean even with my own shit, bro, like, I, I'm i so you, you not You curate that. it, right? You curate Yeah, everything. I'm so not these, th- that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even these things that I'm talking about. Right. I, I'm trying to figure out which one is the right one for me. And, right. like, I know, for me, I've put out music and I've, I've written a song for a year. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Like, I'll do that because to me, I try to go so deep into it mm-hmm. that out of that one song, I'll make a video, I'll start taking pictures about that song, I'll fucking... And I'll it try becomes to its own that. project. It becomes its own project. Right. But what I found just in my own personal experiments, right, is if I'm not updating people on the fact that I'm doing those things... People lose interest. They don't... Well, they don't Give matter. Yeah, that's right. It's not... It's not you're, they're not, nobody's going to find it. Right, right, and, right. And I think that that's the thing. Again, if we agree that the majority of the people live on this, the phone, right? I thought that was the vape pen. If, um, that's in there. Oh, hit it, man. You hit it, man. No, no, no. <laughs> that's the weed calling you. The weed is in your mind Ooh. going, like, you want that, don't you? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, Just put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. Like, it seems like, it seems like that's where we're going, right? Like, I don't know if, can anybody argue that we're not moving more towards the phone like mobile like no, it no. doesn't seem absolutely I, I, but I mean like that's so awesome to me you know me too every, everything is at your fucking fingertips me too I love it but you still have to learn how to live there yeah 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 if you're an artist that's trying to sell something at any time if you're asking for money yeah absolutely be, simply on the fact that people need to find it yeah 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 mm-hmm. so again how do you work around because it seems like what I'm not saying you have to be Gary V, but I'm right. saying what he is talking about is simply the facts. And I think that's what rubs most people the wrong, wrong the most because they're like, well, how do I fit into that? Fuck, I don't fit into that. I'm right, not that. Right, right, right. And that's just a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. That's all that yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, world, the world isn't fair. Like, you're going to make it what you want it to be, right? So, again, define what your end goal is. 
and then figure out what your easiest way to get to that thing. Because that's the only thing, to me, that's where happiness lies. <laughs> happiness lies into you defining what is, when am I okay? Right, right. But it, it's, like I said, if you're, you, I, I want artists to stay away from doing that thing where they look at somebody else and Compare go, themselves I want to get to that level. And then are unable to motivate themselves to do the things to get to that level. Right. Like no. it's crazy because they're, because they'll be like, this is what artists, they, I mean, we fall into this trap all the time. Like I can just, you know what? I'll just, uh, I'll define the whole fucking thing and, and then voluntarily play this game that's already right. defined. Right, right, right. That makes no sense. No, it doesn't. And you're I mean, online. You're selling shit on SoundCloud. You're on YouTube. Yeah, you're yeah. playing the same things. Yeah. And you're playing them poorly. There's no <laughs> way around it. So how do you, like, just, so just get out of there. Yeah. If you're, you don't like that, get out of there. You're, you're crowding it, man. Yes. You're, making, you're, yes. you're making it worse for everybody. And then we're talking about the things that, you know, like Arash was saying about, you know, being in a room with a bunch of Instagram people. Yeah. And you're a DSLR guy, and mm -hmm. it's it's weird now, but yeah, yeah. it is the reality, right? Because right. no, because it seems we're moving away from those tools. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, yes, but I feel like it, it, it's definitely yeah, yeah. You got to slow hit that shit. There it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> damn it. A very phallic episode of yeah, Platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really what I should have done. Good, thank you. Uh, Kid presentable uh, guys. Stop trying to put stuff in my mouth. Sorry, guys. Um, damn it. I, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, man. You have to play it all. You have to. Well, shit, my dude, that's all I got. My cheapest form of therapy steadily just to manage to get an edge and advantage. We're building all of the damage and pride. Let's set the guilt aside. Let's try and focus. We'll pass all the hocus pocus. Pick up to my folk that cope this. They ride. Nobody wants to die. I'm taking orders every day of the week. The breaking point voice quivers every time that I speak. I speak up. Always louder than before. Guard up. Cause the five was at the door So we moving through the valley It goes through the corridor Till they catch me riding verses All over the bathroom floor Man, fuck the law Fuck the legal system till it's raw Cause you never had a problem In your neighborhood before Boxed up Man, I do it for my dudes Locked up And I do it for my crew Got love For the people that can heal me Got love For the people that can kill me Got love For the people in the building For the people in the back Growing up if you can feel me Got love For the people that can heal me me got love for the people that can kill me got love for the people in the building for the people in the like, my thing is just honesty can we talk about aliens yet? like yes we are going to <laughs> yeah. and, and that's the thing like well but i want to get into this really quick so going forward uh-huh do you what 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 are people can people expect absolutely i think to, to me it's it i don't want to put something out where i'm gonna feel stupid about it Mm -hmm. or that doesn't hold up you know what i mean yeah um so but yes you can definitely expect stuff from me i, I feel like i'm getting much better at because i mean everyone has you know you have to work it out i think that's what's one of the things that's kind of wrong out here like recently it's just mm -hmm. like you can't not fail but you can't learn from your mistakes you know what yeah, i'm saying because yeah. if you if, if it's not everything sharp as yeah. at the moment then freedom is the is the um the room to fail yeah so uh, so i you know yes I, there's a bunch mm -hmm. of shit that i got a project with a bunch of people rockham zoan from fucking france wow. haunted Dope. days i got a bunch of shit so yes you can definitely expect some shit okay and now let me ask you this yes. this is the most important question. okay i think uh the last time when did i see you last i know it was at tony's old pad right oh, was it then God. yes yeah yes, has it moved was you you that's when you were on the show right uh, yeah, X or one, on of us, yeah, one, one of us. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, okay. And well, that's uh, the day we did like three interviews. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That was and, ridiculous. And I remember Why you no? mentioned something, dude. And this is this is just one of those. It was just a trigger for me. Uh -huh. You mentioned something, and we were outside smoking. I, I think it was morning. me, you, Beza Tree. I'm not sure. I think Arash was inside. Yeah, SP was there. SP yeah, was there. Okay. And uh, you said. Um, depression mm -hmm. was a thing for you yes that you couldn't like you were having a hard time trying to figure out what the fuck was happening yeah because like it to me it's like it, i feel like it's like you can't feel it 
Does that make any sense? Mm. You 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 occupy yourself with with work and family and fucking music. Yeah. And it's a constant chase for what's next. Yeah. And that really kind of bothers me. The fact that I can't sit there and be like, hey man, you know, why are you not content with the yeah. stuff that you have? The good enough. Yeah. It, yeah. Not, it's not even necessarily mm. good enough. Yeah. But it's like it's good. You know, yeah. things can be better, but enjoy the moment. Enjoy now. Yeah. And that's real tough for me. Like to me, I'm constantly looking for what's next. Like what's my next fucking next project? that I'm going to do and it makes me lose focus mm. and I, that's something that I really battle with and like another thing that, I, that speaking of depression is like alcohol like alcohol mm. I love to drink like I love to drink yeah what's the longest you've gone without drinking well right now it's been a month so oh you haven't drank for a month I right drink on for a month. bro so but like the thing is it's like the hangover sucks, but for yeah. me, the hangover is because it's a depressant. Yeah, it's a crippling depression. Like yeah. I'm in the house, like bawling my eyes out, like a little girl. I don't know why. When you're hungover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's like crippling. Like I can't do anything. Like it, it, like it literally overtakes my life. What have you? Have you sought out anything? No, no. Uh, I mean, I smoke. Yeah. And then right now, what I'm doing a lot is I'm doing a lot of running. Yeah, exercise. You feel me? So it, yeah, you know, ups my serotonin and shit. And you know what I mean? Like, if yeah. it feels great, that high is fucking amazing. Like, yo, mm. you're doing a fucking four mile, five mile run. But you know what it is? In a lot of ways, it's the same. It's the same thing as like we were talking about earlier with like social media. Like the solutions are all there. Like if you're if you're gonna make money in music, you're gonna sell merch. You're mm -hmm. gonna tour. Right. I mean, we keep trying to imagine that it's gonna be something else, but it's mm. still like the same thing with uh, dealing with depression, right? It's like get physical activity, be in the sun, yeah. meditate. And I think and yeah, like, there's obvious creating, answers. Right. For, yeah. You're creating art. I mean, you're doing yeah. Yeah. all the things and I mean but with it comes with I, it, sometimes it, I feel like it comes with a price yeah. you know I mean especially in hip hop you know what I mean like back going back to music like my music it's like you know it's severely personal like you said it yes. you know what I mean and it's like does that how, how does that affect other people is that a good thing is that a bad thing mm -hmm. can I can you relate to the fact that I'm severely personal well you can know you what? relate to these topics I, th I think you you know you're you and uh, a previous guest sadistic mm -hmm. um, he's he's been He's one of those guys who goes in like really personal, you know, right, right, super personal and uh, great artist. It seems like the audience, yeah. I mean, there isn't. I mean, it does help. It's um, yeah, but it's do therapeutic. You, do you cater to that? Like, sadistic has that yeah. audience, and it's not necessarily catered. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's it, oh no, yeah, it's you, his audience. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah. that's his they, audience. They come with an expectation, exactly. Sure. And he fact, talked about got, that. They got mad when yeah. he had like a not as miserable album. Ah. Right, 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 right. And that yeah. do I want that? Do I want people to get upset because I'm like you know, hey, I'm not miserable. I think the like, bigger question the is, can you do anything about it? Because True. it seems like it just comes out. That is who you are. Yeah, yeah. So I would think that the the thing that you would want to address the most is just your mental health. And here's <laughs> yeah. the qu here's the question you might have to ask yourself, bro. Like, if you literally might have to come to grips with, should I not drink? Like, and that's is, that's it. And is drinking like alas? That's where we are. Like you. Damn, I, I'm. This is might have fucked that up. This you know is, what I mean? Like I had a shot at it, and it. This I is definitely. One, it. This is definitely one of those things yeah. that is like literally like. We're gonna try that out. I bet you that's me. That's you. Oh, Tony! What? Oh, Tony! Always finding a way to interrupt the show. Ah, son Tony. of a bitch! Stay illuminated, crappy, awesome, and stay illuminated for hey, free shipping. Yeah, right, yes. but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, you know, it, I don't know. I, that's definitely that's right now. That's where we're at. Yeah, and it feels great. Yeah, it feels like I can focus. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm on a better path. You know, to whatever physically, definitely. Do you think you're an alcoholic? Uh, I would definitely consider myself one. Yeah. Uh, and just because I'm an alcoholic doesn't necessarily mean that I drink every day. Right, right, right. It's more of when like, you do. When I do, it's, it's fucking. It's excessive. I'm, I'm sure you've seen me fucked up, right? You guys haven't seen me? Yeah, but you're kind drunk. of like a happy drunk. I'm a very good When drunk. I've been around. I'm a very good drunk because people I'm don't I'm sure know. Beezer Tree could add, tell other stories. No, no. <laughs> He's loud. I've been kicked loud. out of a couple of restaurants before. Okay. Yeah. We, I got. We, I went over to... Uh, to Ventura to be the trees pad and Ventura. we were just hounding we were just, yeah it was it was great a long time ago and yeah we got kicked out of it well place. okay <laughs> I have read this many times that that is the um the most dangerous drunk yeah, yeah. is the one that doesn't bother anybody exactly yeah, because no. it that's with all the drugs. because you're they get checked on the last yeah because right? they're like well he's cool he fucking right. and yeah so that's that's definitely one of those things that I'm working on and I mean I my my family has a history of it my uncle I have two uncles who've died of alcoholism yeah and you know it's yeah it's time to I'm 32 oh man. so it's in the family oh hell yeah oh, dude I'm 32 man yeah, you know you gotta, it's, I gotta curb it so it's yeah. it's it's off the table for right now. Right on. Mm -hmm. Be that dude that doesn't drink. 
<laughs> trying to. And you know how hard it is to it's fuck it. Super hot. This bro. crew is like I know, the right? most amazingly fun to have a fucking blackout night with. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Shout out to everyone we hang out with Stale Luna. <laughs> You've been there? Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. It needs to happen more. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. UFOs. Let's do this, man. I got time. Yeah. With UFOs? Yes. Um What about them? So so yeah, Arash. First of all, I'd like to, uh, for us to both take credit on the fact that we were way early on it. <laughs> yeah, we were early on it. So we were so early on yeah. it that people were like, "Get the not, fuck!" Not yeah. you and Tom DeLong. And shit. No, no, no. On, on Tom DeLong. Oh, okay, we were, okay. Do you know how many conversations I've had with people where I've started to tell them the Tom DeLong, yeah. like the whole story, yeah. and it starts with them laughing and laughing, and then by the time I get into they're like, explanations, Holy they're like, fuck. "Fuck, that's not that crazy." Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. So uh, go back on the other episodes. We've talked about it a lot, but. Anyways, Tom DeLonge has delivered. DeLong. DeLong has he delivered. Um, he was right, too. Shit. And, and uh, they released a video of a UFO yeah, yeah. that has been confirmed. I'll tell you this, by the by way. the CIA. His the CIA. hand is in all of that. Absolutely. Because oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've followed, like, the link trails down. And uh-huh. they, they've made sure to, like, I think they've asked, can we not say this is Tom DeLonge's so. project? That's no, why they got it. focus on the message. They got oh, Elizondo, shit. that dude, the mm-hmm. Elizondo guy from his team. Yeah. He yeah. seems to be the spokesman now. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. The, the one that Replaced recently him. retired from the Pentagon? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he worked for, like, Skunk Works. That's right, that's right, that's right. 20 year veteran of the Pentagon. That's fucking crazy. So, anyways, if you haven't seen it hope i mean by the time this comes out we don't know what the fuck That's might have right. happened yeah. but the it, it has happened uh it seems as i don't know what do you think Rush? does this seem like the beginning of disclosure yes like, wait wait now 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 there's a differentiation between a ufo yes and actual alien what they're life. talking about yes right. yes so, they're saying they're, well, they're, they're saying they're saying absolutely we believe that non-human entities right, are right, visiting right. Earth. Simply, simply off the fact that um they were because they've been really and i think this is super dope that they're doing this and it's so fucking corny by the way cnn fox msnbc Suck a fucking dick. Uh, you guys are fucking ridiculous. Like, fake they're news, having these news, people on, on, and they're making, the anchors are all just making a joke of it the entire time. Yeah. Because America pays attention to the anchor. Yeah. And I understand that, that it's part of like the, the disclosure. This is what the disclosure is going to be. Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't going to be like an explosion. It's just right, a right. slow burn. Yeah. Right. Because and I, and I already mm-hmm. see it happening yeah. in conversations that we're having. Yes. Where there's less people slow laughing. Slow trickle. Twitter. Yeah. Slow Twitter's, uh, yeah. it just starts moving up every day. Like it's and, moving up. But here's the thing. Like I forgot who, I think it was Stephen Hawking who said, yeah. like, um, if we do, if there are alien life forms who have fucking advanced technology, I mean, think about the ramifications of that. They're either number one, uh, friendly, I guess, yes. because they're not fucking blowing us up. Yeah. Or number two, like if I mean, with that technology, they can blow us up. So right. we should be fucking pretty much terrified about what the fuck is going on. I think I'm not. I'm not I think saying, we should be concerned. Yeah, there you go. That's think, a better. I word. think there should be at least a concern in in that. that okay, like I like I, I I wrote this on Facebook about how if even if this is bullshit, right? Like even if it's a CIA, th- you if you're still like yeah, like. That's not a small thing. It's if not. the CIA comes out and yeah. goes like, "Hey, there's UFOs," and they're lying, yeah, what the fuck are they doing then? Scare tactics, bro. Something big is is dude, like I said. For, they threw away forty years and billions of dollars towards denial, mm-hmm. and we have to know, right? Like people lost their lives trying yeah. to cover the shit yeah, up absolutely. throughout the years. For sure, people have lost their lives. And then they're just like, eh, whatever. Hey, guys, there's fucking aliens. What if it's conditioning? What the fuck is that? What if it's like conditioning, though? Like it you could can, be. You condition the, the American public that, ah, this yeah. is bullshit, this is bullshit, and then all of a sudden, bam. You know what I what? think it is? I think it could be, without a doubt, like one of the biggest social experiments ever, and that they got the exact answer that they wanted. Mm. I bet we can do anything, and this, the the people will not react. Absolutely. And like the ideas of like, dude, the fact that this is not the biggest story in the world yeah. and 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 uh, that like a, a Trump tweet is more important somehow than yes. these things appearing in our atmosphere, Literally. right? Per them, by the way, appearing in our right. atmosphere, per not, video. not entering the, our, like they're not, we're not seeing them from the solar system, right. they're just appearing in our right, atmosphere. Right, right, right. They're not being They have detected. no wings, no. they have no, nothing coming off of them, mm-hmm. and, and... This is one of the things that 
what's pissing me off too is until today, finally they they jumped on it. But till today, they kept leaving out the part that we have one. Oh uh, what? They have they have a wreckage. That's pretty fucking dope. They're studying the wreck. They say it like like they until today they weren't mentioning it. This. See, this is what I'm, yeah. exactly. This is what I I'm put saying. it on Facebook. I put them all on Facebook so yeah. people could see them. It's uh, the last thing I saw was that they announced the program. That's and what that, I like, saw It too. was stopped. It was stopped being funded in mm. 2012. Right. Harry Reid was the one in yeah. charge of everything. This yeah. never centered So the since then, that was I think day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, okay, so since then, what they found is that the program actually got shifted under uh, the terrorist act. Uh-huh. So that funding mm. that goes into the, which again, think about this. Like, let's just connect this. How much money over the last few years trillions. has gone into trillions, trillions right? Trillions. Yeah. Trillions. We're not stopping terrorism. Oh, hell no. So is it conceivable that's, I mean, well, yes. First of all, because they're admitting it, that that's where, that's what's funding the UFO. They've just lumped it in there. So anything they've done study-wise has been coming out of that. Right. Right. America should be pissed. Yeah. You should be fucking. Mm-hmm. You should be burning shit down. Like I mean, what the fuck? But think about it. Like we were just talking about the news cycle. I mean, uh, Trump is destroying the EPA. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. No one gives a. Fuck. No one gives a fuck. Net neutrality happened. Yeah. No one gives a yeah. fuck. Yeah. It happened. What, no, uh, I, I, a lot of people give a fuck, but people are just helpless. But, okay. but on a okay. smaller, on a smaller yeah, scale, yes. though. You know what though? I agree to that. Why though? Because I th- what again, the fuck? everything is so like con- it's like they beat it out of us already. Like yeah. they literally beat it all out of us. Like nah. I, I blame uh, what is it? No child left behind. Mm. Why? Because yo, I gotta hear this. Yo, I blame no child left behind. Why? Because we underfund public schools. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all that money, a lot of that money for that was 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 funneled out to like charter schools or whatever, and then it dumbs everyone down. Mm. Okay. Now, no, I mean, go back to college. A college degree, what is worth? Nothing now. Nothing now, <laughs> except for the sixty thousand dollar debt that you. Yeah. Fucking, I mean, so yeah. everyone is now is everyone so easy to condition? You only owe sixty. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, everyone's so easy to condition now because no one actually. Uh, I, no, here's a perfect example. Who does research for anything? Like, if you see a, a link, you see the link, and it's like, okay, cool, I'm gonna yeah, click yeah. it. You don't do your, you know. What you don't have to. Exactly. Right. So everything is right at your fingertips. You're the smartest person in the world if you have a phone. And it's like, it, but no one actually does the things that you used to. Like, for example, if there was, if you wanted to look into a topic, UFO uh, activity, yeah. you would go to a library, you'd look up an author, then you'd look up for other, you know, other authors, and then you'd actually read the material and see right. what was. There was know, a learning process. The brain exactly. was being stimulated, problem solving. Now we're just <laughs> now being, it's just a link. Right. Now a we're link. just legitimately just fed yeah. a link with deceit. Headlines every right, once right. in a Click while, clickbait, exactly, and it's and it's, it's ridiculous. I I would say I'd even take it a step farther than both you guys. I think the test proved that we're already there. Like this test, mm. let's put UFOs out. I think the the test was an overwhelming success because they're like literally. I mean, I don't. Uh, we weren't alive. None of us were alive when they made the nuclear bomb, right? And right. So. Uh, what what could arguably be bigger than this during right. our lifetime? I mean, people. I mean, like during our lifetime, what could be bigger well, than this? People watch the Challenger blow up right. on national television. Yeah, yeah. And no, right now, no one cares that we have a UFO. Yes, That's crazy. I, yeah. I, I'm gonna say like just devil's advocate. Yeah. Okay. Um, like when I was reading that story, the things that I was looking at is that, for example, uh, Senator Harry Reid, who was like leading this thing. Um, and uh, by the way, listeners who aren't familiar, they're talking about black money is what they call it. Yes. Where they were like funneling the money through like five Private different organizations. Right. And, and eventually like – and so a lot of it, by the way, went – like the owner of the company was like one of Harry Reid's like best friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Billionaire. billionaire. So it sounds like they're lining their pockets type right. shit. Right. I can see that too. That's where the deniability comes in. I, I, that's I mean, where if I didn't want to believe this shit, that would say like, like oh, yeah, look at that. Absolutely. Cool. Mm-hmm. But I mean that's that's in every branch of the government. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? And like another – again, the example of the EPA. The dude who runs the EPA is like – was a former you know tycoon. Kuna, like Shell or some yeah. shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know what company, but like, I guess that's part of government, you know what I mean? But I think this is, the, this is the thing, again, and I don't know, just t- tell me, am I tripping? Oh, yes. Because I think... Ah. Now ask a, your question. I think that there's a big jump from um, there are no weapons of mass destruction, right? Like, because that was a big lie that they told us. Right. To <laughs> there's fucking aliens. Yeah. Because they're going to have, like, they're going in a certain direction that we're, they're prob- we're going to see more of these things? 
Mm-hmm. I and, think that's what and it even is. if they that's are the making them what's and they're this? just completely fake. What's this about the wreckage then that we found? What is it that we have a wreckage? Yeah, that the, they're studying it, and it's supposed dead. to be like a layered. Well, the company, the the guy you said, uh-huh. it, he's the one who ho- is holding it, by the way, okay. which is another big concern that this private company is yeah. alien technology is holding it. Yeah, they, and they have this technology. Well, the it's like the plot to Iron Man, bro. The, the people <laughs> who broke the this is uh, look up uh, Leslie Klein. Mm. Shout out to Leslie Klein, by the way. She's the one who broke the story at the New York Times. Just go, uh, Google Leslie Klein on YouTube, UFOs this week, and you'll see how she breaks down exactly what happened. She's, she crazy. talks about the shifting of the, the program. She talks about them having the, this technology and the fact that we have no idea what the fuck it is. And we can't. I, we, you know what? I'm we interested. cannot back engineer it, and that's the problem because they're calling it next next level Sick. technology. Because well, that's what they described. They said it's like uh, uh, one of the examples they gave in. The art, I like this quote. Uh-huh. It said it was like it's like giving Leonardo da Vinci a garage door opener. Yes. What? Yeah. He's like first he's trying to figure out what the fuck is plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, oh, and uh, speaking of that, that there so there is a um, uh, a plastic. That that's the best way they can explain it. That's part of this wreckage mm. that produces energy off what of it. Yeah, the fuck? that there's an energy source off of it. They don't know. How to, we can't use it because we don't know. Again, like we don't know what the right. fuck any of this shit is. And I bet you we can use it, but there's maybe, so much money in fossil maybe. fuel right now. So here's shit. so here's the uh, here's me playing devil's advocate to why maybe it's real because I was thinking like. Okay, SpaceX, right? Mm -hmm. SpaceX is going to be out there. We've never, like, the normal person has never been out there. That's right. Right? Like, so that's about to happen. China's sending a fucking, they're trying to build on the moon. They're going to build on the moon in 2018. I saw it. So they're going to be up there. Like, a lot of people are going to be up there now, and a Br- lot of Branson, private companies. I think Branson has, like, property. Yeah, yeah. There. Google, Google sending right. up a, a, a satellite. So for the first time, we're going to have high resolution imagery. From private companies, I don't think they, I don't think they can cover that up anymore. Uh, absolutely, you know what I mean. I think they're getting to a point where it's just the tipping point of like, fuck. Everyone has a camera. Everybody, everybody has a technology. You can't hide it anymore. Man. A, yeah, exactly. I mean, SpaceX to me, it w- is the changer though. I think they're the game changer. The they fact got the, that reu- the reusable. They have uh, the resources. Rockets, right. They, they have the money. Rockets, right? Yeah, yeah. And and they're probably going to get to Mars before everybody. Because I'm pretty sure we do have some private satellites out there. I mean, there's like there's like 140-something satellites. Like No, the, I think what they're Earth. talking about is is the level of technology in the satellites that we're mm-hmm. able to send. Now. I got you, yeah. It's like at such a level that like radar, like they have like, – like in the past, it would simply be like a transmitting satellite. Mm. And now we have these things that are oh, – oh, they just showed the, the satellite box – that is Japan invented. Right. It's like a little tiny box mm. and it can literally send information to the entire world. Yeah. So all these all these big companies are going to be sending out high res you know, these things that have high resolution cameras at a level because that's the thing. I think we do too. I think mm. there are private ones. But the I mean, again, I think we're talking about Earth being so massive, yeah. <laughs> like it's going to be filled. This time, oh, I, I, so things aren't going to get by as easy, I, dude. You I, know, that's the next level. I think space exploration should be something that we should be fo- everyone on in the planet should be focused on. Shit, we might not make it off the planet. We might not. <laughs> and that's that's the that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, and that's why I'm I've I've been a bit advocate of like you know overpopulation and shit. Yeah, but you know what? If we pull our resources together, maybe we can come up with some technology where yeah. we can terraform a planet. Well, maybe this will. I mean, in this is why I so don't want it to be what Arash is saying because I. Dude, I want this to be that the thing next that, step, that well, next step in, in, in human evolution, evolution. yeah, right? absolutely. Like, Jinx. Where we have to stop thinking, we have to stop thinking about like uh, like the just the one, you know what I mean, and start thinking about like you know the whole. Mm-hmm. Um, and even look at even uh, if I, I know I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's. What I would think, happen anyway? I think even if aliens landed tomorrow, like it's, this is what we keep wanting for it to be, that people band together and realize we're one consciousness and let's stop fucking each other over. Yeah. It's not going to work like that. I no, feel like be... even if aliens land tomorrow, people will still... Like I said, I mean, imagine that we do have the the means to reproduce a plastic that, re- that has renewable energy. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. 
that's oh, that's game over. Right. Like everybody's good. But the billions of dollars that are being lost, yeah, I just on that, you feel me? And the, the people who are controlling a lot so, of the stuff, unfortunately. So should we start just maybe we should start lobbying the aliens? Yes, to come in and sort this out for us. Hey. Like, yo, can you just? Sort out the bad I just Which alien species do we love? I know, dude. True. I just, I just want a There's robot like eight suit. of them, right? I right. want a robot suit that I can go into space with and just yeah. fucking fuck things up out there. That'd be fucking dope. I think it's us. That's what I think it is. What? I think from the future? who knows us better Ooh, than we do. Very true. No. Who knows how to like get something to us? <laughs> What's that movie? Fucking, uh, oh, uh, fucking with Matthew McConaughey and, and he goes. Stellar. Oh, God. I cried. I cried yeah, in that too. movie. I cried. <laughs> Couldn't that explain why they're not attacking us? Absolutely. Right? Like, that Absolutely. would be a good... And they know, like, look, we know what this would do to the human psyche because well, we are human. It was, so. it was uh, uh, um, Tom DeLonge's uh, co-writer mm-hmm. on God's Man and War, though, that, that was taking that status. He's like, yeah. look, it's like the same thing. as like these uh, like uh, civilizations that Western civilization hadn't hit yet. Mm-hmm. We're not just going out of our way to shoot them until we started wanting the rainforest. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. They haven't come up with the need... Yeah, to to blow us away yet because we don't have anything they want. Hopefully they got to that level. Hopefully we got to that level. What if we're a zoo? We don't eat. What if it's like them? That very well could be that too. They're like tourists. I thought more like ant farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what if we're what if we're a virus and the actual organism that matters is the planet? Yeah, you feel me? And they're here to clean us out. Yeah. See, but I think again, (sighs) if they had the technology to do the things that these ships are doing. I, I think people will think it might be like Independence Day, but it's going to be like nah. a three second thing. It's have just going to be like, you're going to be have like, you seen hey, alien, here they are. Seen, oh, we're Have done. you seen Alien Nation? You, you know that, that <laughs> show, Alien Nation, that old Gold TV show, show yeah, where yeah, they yeah. have like aliens on the planet that are stranded? It's kind of like that movie District 9. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But these fools. They're digging yeah, their yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, dude, that, that, I used to love that show fucking and like aliens and men like working together and because they're stuck and they can't get back so now you gotta fucking live together and shit okay. so so let's let's all talk about we all have to do this oh you two have to do this we'll end on this mm-hmm. you guys both have to do this because I don't want to feel bad about myself oh, so let's shit. talk about the selfish thing that right. goes into these aliens things right. dude Shit's just about to crack, bro. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, can we just hold it off for a couple right, years? Right, right, like, man. I just don't want to tour. Like, I know if, if they come, all that shit's going to be on hold for a while. I just know it. Like, <laughs> they're going to not let us fly. No one's going to get Nobody's no going to go gonna, to a gonna, fucking nah, Wednesday that. hip hop show. Oh, There's a fucking mothership over LA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just let's just wait. <laughs> That's where I stand. That would be the dopest show. You Ain't... look up in the sky and there's a mothership floating yeah, over. Yeah. <laughs> so high. Yo, we're shooting a video Ooh. With, with with the fucking mothership in the background. Bro, oh. bro. Photos. What? How cliche better, would much that be? Better than the little Good. Mark. I don't give a How fuck. How cliche would that become so quickly, though? Know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody's going to do it's it. It's like shooting in front of graffiti and yeah. shit, right? It's like a hip-hop t- show shooting in front of graffiti. Dude, I am telling you this right now. <laughs> just aliens, wherever you're at, I know what's going Just hold off a little bit. And hip-hop... Dude... Aliens are going to fuck up the show. I think so. Let's Uh, be honest. It's not going to be like it is. (laughs) All the shit we like is not going to be... They're, it's gonna change a lot of shit. Dude, yeah. how, how dope would it be if we had the money to like produce a movie the, right now and we wrote and directed one about a bunch of rappers that when a yeah, mothership about shows up, crack. Their, their first yeah. thought is we gotta go shoot a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole night they're just yeah. trying to get to the place to that's shoot the, a video. That's the whole theme of it. <laughs> and then they get there and someone's already like, doing like, it. Like, yes. Battle, <laughs> battle LA, but yeah. with a bunch of rappers. With oh. a bunch of rappers. In LA. I fuck that are that. so like into their own shit. Yeah. They're like, who cares about the fucking thing? The production value is gonna be great. Someone's gonna get blown up because they're trying to tag on the shit yeah, 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 yeah. put up a slap like what the fuck are you doing yeah. bro doesn't, you can't, that, that shit doesn't work oh shit Tommy got disintegrated yeah oh. fuck fuck trying everybody knows his verse sla- yeah oh fuck yeah hey yo he was supposed to do a feature I hope I can still get it <laughs> the dopest movie oh, oh man. man shout out to Absolutely. the aliens bro you got any uh, any what? selfish things that you don't want the alien why would you not want the aliens to come uh, honestly, I've lived, I've, I've done my whole like adulting thing so badly. Yeah. That if the aliens come, I'll be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it just lets you off the hook. I, yeah, I never, I never like bought a house. Sick. I didn't pay my student loans. That's fucking awesome. Ah. And then I'll be able to say, I knew it. I knew I it. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit mattered. That's anyway. why I waited it out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> dude, could you imagine if I, dude, I would be pissed if I'd fucking been busting my ass, like paying a mortgage. Exactly. Uh, and then this fucking thing landed. Now, like, That's all the I'm houses saying. are getting raided. 
like, it's it's like yeah, right yeah. under too. Or, no, they just come down and go like, "Hey, everybody, here's everything you need." Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. God damn I'm it. telling you that that'd be, <laughs> you've been working your ass off for like 50 years. Yeah, but that'd be, like, that'd be kind of dope, though, man. You can do now. You can pursue whatever makes you happy. Yeah, but nobody's gonna buy it. That's true. <laughs> that's not gonna be true. any money. It's true. It's true. Nobody's gonna care. They're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, dude. Everybody yeah, does hey, what they want to do. That's a cool shirt, man. Yeah, just do it for yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do I need a shirt for? Yeah, bro. We don't wear myself. shirts. Yeah, we have robots. We are illuminated, yeah, bro. That's right. You don't see? Damn. <laughs> well, hey, dude, our business would be. Fuck. Yeah, bro. Everybody you meet is immediately yeah. flowing better than you oh, ever have. Hey, by the way, get on the alien shit now. Yes. Stay illuminated. Get yes. on the alien shit. Get quick, that quick, shit. Quick, get quick, that man. shit. Get that, <clears> that, that shit. shit. You guys All have right. a show to go to. Yeah, we're out of here, man. Dude, thank you so much, bro. Thank you guys, awesome. man. It's always Please a pleasure. Please come back again. Of course, man. I like the yeah. shaking hands, the audio show. Hey. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> they can hear it. Dick. Dick. Thank you. You're right. You're right, though. There's cameras on over here. Oh, my God. That was dope. I love it. God damn it. <laughs> That's a fucking meme right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, KP, thanks for coming on, man. I always fucking this is my favorite. Every time we're hanging out with thanks, you, thanks, man. I appreciate. I that. agree. Uh, like, I don't even care if we have the mics on. It's just dope hanging. I out. like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, hey, you may now flush the toilet. I'm a bass and something's wrong inside my melon. All I hear is different voices bounce around my cerebellum. Most of them are common nature, but this one drowns out the rest. Keeps yelling to stay focused so the cats will want to test. Well, who's up next? I'm no longer underrated. Cali hasn't seen such death since the Catholic Church invaded. I continue to stay blessed. Obviously, I'm elevated. Molecules are out of step. Homie, I don't care. I'm faded, elated. Y'all want to die and leave a beautiful corpse? Well, I'll be happy to oblige. I'll need a mic and a fork. It's all for the sport. It's all for the thrill. It's it's all about reaching new heights and sharpening skill. No need for a pill. I'm limitless. I got you in a trance like a hypnotist. A lyricist who's always been too nice to show my businesses. Yeah, with weed or booze, no control for me to lose. Alert and sharp with these darts. Y'all keep smashing all that snooze. I never rest. I never sit down and count my blessings. No time to catch my breath. No time for second guessing. Make the move you said you plotted. Lost of sleep over obsessing. Now the blood is in the water. Sharks are in a frenzy. Never rest. I never sit down and count my blessings. No time. To catch your breath, no time for second guessing. Make the move you said you plotted, lost of sleep over obsessing. Now the blood is in the water, sharks are in a frenzy. You're looking at the dopest motherfucker. What's the damage? This right here is just a blueprint. Need to analyze and plan it. Prep the will on dying planet. Like my name was fucking Goku. Come back with a halo, Super Saiyan on your whole crew. It's back to basics, back to wrecking cats on boom bat. Back to random fools telling me how dope they do rap. Scraps about some backing vocals, nah, see, I don't do that. My show is lit as fuck, no need for help. I ain't no new jack The homie's saying KP how can I be down Just roll the blunt My boy can get that by the pound We'll need some keys and melodies To orchestrate a brand new sound That will get this party hype And burn the building to the ground Ashes to dust I finish this verse Might combust Help you fade into oblivion Call it self-destruct That's just the truth I'm savage with a mic over a loop Double drop from the top Turnbuckle in the booth I never rest Rats, 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 rats,